I wanted something meaningful to do with my life. Um, I wanted to make a difference. I wanted my day to be full of purpose. So that's why I thought that teaching might be a good idea for me. And then, I mean, the IOE, is its reputation speaks for itself. Um, I wanted to go somewhere where I could be taught by the best. So my placements were actually fantastic. Um, I, was, I was very lucky. I didn't have really any scary experiences. They were... I mean, it was daunting going in and teaching because you've never taught before. Um, both SE1 and SE3, so they're your main placements, they were amazing. I had brilliant mentors, um, both at school and from the IOE. Um, I was really, both of my mentors really allowed me to learn as much as possible. And really, <laughs> I remember in SE1 at the start, um, my teacher decided that there was no point in me doing small group work, I should just go straight in and teach whole class. So on my very first day of teaching, I was teaching whole class. And although that was really scary, it meant that by the end, I was completely used to teaching a class of 30 children. And, you know, I didn't have that daunting transition moving from small groups to a whole class. So, yeah, that was fantastic. It's an incredibly tough course. It's really, really hard work. But um, I really just threw myself into it. I, I worked really hard for the whole time and you know lots and lots of late nights and it was very tiring and I think because of all the effort that I put in um, it I mean every time you got a result back every time you had some kind of acknowledgement from a tutor and then to come here even today it's all so worth it and it all felt so rewarding our group mentor was Lorna Dyke and she was so grounding and so personable and she really made quite a daunting experience <laughs> she brought it back down to earth really so she was fantastic um, I had two outstanding mentors in Georgina Merchant and Josh Franks um, who I mean Georgina was my mentor for the longer time in SE1 and she was incredibly supportive and very her feedback, very generous with her feedback, she really, um, she'd really think about everything that you said to her, everything that you'd send to her in your emails, you could tell that she put a lot of thought into it and responded very academically actually, she was, yeah, she was brilliant and of course Josh was fantastic as well and then I also, um, she was never directly linked to me but um, Dr. McCrory, Amanda McCrory, she was I think an inspiration to everyone, she took her role very seriously and inspired us all to take the profession very seriously and she had very high expectations and I think inspired a lot of us um, in terms of the kind of teacher that we wanted to be. <laughs> My husband Scott, um, he I couldn't have done it without him again it was a lot of hard work and you really need a lot of support to be doing it and I mean, I, I would have been lost without him. Um, and then obviously the teachers that were at my placement schools, they were fantastic and so supportive of me and really supportive of the IOE and any IOE staff that came to see me. Um, so yeah, and the kids. I mean, any, all of the children, both classes, I had year six and year one, and they were, all of those children, I mean, they were the first classes that I've ever had. So they made a huge difference to my life.